Good afternoon, everyone. This is Lewis from Re3D here with a helpful tip for your Gigabot, and it's how to clean your hot ends. So today we'll be using a brass wire brush or a stainless steel bristle brush and your putty scraper to clean the residual plastic off the underside of your hot ends. You wanna do this so that that residual plastic doesn't fall off and get caught in your print, in your future prints. So let's show you how to do that now. The first step you'll need is to put on some safety glasses so the plastic doesn't get flung into your eye. And second, you'll need to heat up your hot ends to 200 degrees Celsius or 220 degrees Celsius, depending on the material, PLA versus polycarbonate respectively. Once that's done, this is an important step, you'll need to set the hot ends to cool down. So that's important so that you don't short circuit the heater cartridge uh, wires on the, the back side of the hot end with the metal bristles of the brush. So once that's done, I'm gonna zoom in here and show you the technique for cleaning these hot ends. We just had a print fail here, and so I have some plastic on these hot ends. So what we'll do is with the brass wire brush, we'll just come in and give this a nice scrape. It helps to, dis or to engage the motors, so move the X axis a little bit. That allows you to get a little better grip. Yeah, nice and satisfying let's do this one now and for the particularly hard locations like maybe in between the, the nozzle and the heater block you can kind of get in the cracks there or up underneath the fans there we go clean that surface off and the side surface off and be careful in the back. Uh, that is where the thermocouple wires and the heater cartridge wires are. So that looks pretty good. Last step is to clean all this uh, particulates off the bed. And we're gonna try to recover this print, I think. Uh, looks like it may have taken a bit of a turn for the worse at that part, so maybe not. But in any case, we'll give it a shot. Clean off this bed and you'll be ready to start your next print. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope that was a helpful tip and we'll see you next time.